Hi guys, how are you doing? How are you? I am excellent. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Done a lot of knitting and some other exciting updates. How is everything with you? I have been, uh, you know, spinning away. Uh, that's good, you know. It's progress. It's work. It's always good. So It is an accomplishment. I've gotten into spinning in terms of cycling and spinning in terms of spinning my wool. Your life is just one big spin cycle, isn't it? Yes. But let me see the spinning. I'm I'm excited about this. What have you been so spinning? It's little mini bats. So there are three of them. So this is what it looks like as a bat. Ooh. A lot of blue. And then you open it up, and there's not as much blue as you think because oh, it's really? got and brown in it and then it spins up into oh, that's awesome. this that's really pretty yeah. so there are three of them but what i think i'm gonna do for a usable quantity because i only have four ounces mm -hmm. is i'm spinning uh it'll probably end up being a light dk all in but i'm doing a one and a half like uh of these little ball guys per bobbin so that i'll have a two play Okay, excellent. That's really cool. Now, did you get, is this fiber the same, from the same place as the last fiber you spun, or is this from a different place? That is a good question. It is from Giggle Jelly, gigglejelly.etsy.com, which I don't know if it's still around because I bought it four or five years ago but it is wonderful and so nice to spin with so oh, i do cool. want to check the still there hopefully i love their name giggle what was it giggle yarn it's called giggle jelly giggle jelly i i like it it's ve definitely stands out you know it's got a cuteness to it that i'm totally all about but no it's wonderful i just think that the fiber Let's see what the blend is Oh, 80% merino wool, 20% tussa silk. That, that would do it. That would make it nice and soft. Yeah, it is super soft. And I figured out that I arranged my fiber by, like, color family. Okay. And I want to make a gray sort of rainbow blanket with all my spinning. Because I got so jealous of seeing my spinning all knit up by you. There we go. That's what friends are for. Motivation. You did motivate me, though. I'm really glad. Like, I just, you know, was doing nothing yesterday, hanging out, and thought, you know, what if I spun some? Yeah. I'm glad I can help be motivation in your life. Tell me more about your projects. Um, so, a couple things. I have a couple things going on. I finished this my scarf on the wands, which was actually a lot of fun. I got a bunch of, like, chunky yarn. And it was a lot of fun. And we were talking about this a little bit before, but you never, the wands are actually heavier than needles. So it's always interesting to kind of feel a different weight when you're knitting with something heavier. But that was a lot of fun. But also, since I finished that, I've also continued doing a blanket with super colorful yarn. Um, Love that yarn. Yeah, I, I kind of made up a pattern for it. So I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to play out once I'm done with it. So I'm liking it so far. Um, but we'll see how it kind of pans out and if it works as well as I hoping it does. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. So is your Harry Potter knitting wands the most expensive set of knitting needles you have? Yeah, now at this point, unintentionally. I mean, I can't say, well, it's not fair because it's not exclusively knitting needles that are, you know, a collectible and, you know. They are a multi-purpose tool. Yeah, but they're definitely the most expensive set of needles that I have. So um, I, I kind of want to use them again at some point, but that's something maybe down the line. Um, they're just. I mean, make each house scarf with those needles. Which is tempting, you know, um, I might do another, say again? I said it should be. Yeah, um, I'll get there. I mean, I don't want to buy any more yarn. I have so much yarn. Um, I'm actually redesigning my walls right now. Um, actually, I'm sitting down with one of our friends, um, A, 
um, to kind of, he's making me more hooks so I can actually fit more yarn behind me because I have all that plus more like, uh, like in a box. So I have to, I need more hooks. That is an excellent solution. Like yeah. let's not use our amount of yarn. Let's just find an effective and innovative storage solution. Yeah, I, and also it's nice because it's kind of like a win-win. Our friend was kind of looking for our next project, and I was looking at getting more hooks anyway, so it was just kind of like, he has a project, and it's a new storage solution for me, so it's kind of, I'm kind of excited about it. Um, he just showed me some stuff earlier today about it, so um, when I, I'm actually going down to New Jersey later this month, and we're going to meet up, probably have dinner, and talk about like next steps and all that stuff so it's gonna be exciting that's the cutest maybe i can ask him for a pegboard solution you know what um i would ask him because he's making something similar kind of like a pegboard but ask him ask him about it he um it'll be a good good kind of he'll be excited to talk about it uh i'm thrilled because i know you're gonna do something beautiful Thank you. So, yeah, uh, make sure to look out for that in the upcoming month or two. I mean, he has to make it, and I have to go get it because he's not shipping that up, all that up. I will go retrieve it and bring it up here. So I'm excited for that so I can actually fit more, and I actually have to think more about, like, arranging stuff and color coding and making it pretty and all that kind of stuff. So that should be exciting. That's very literally the most important part. So let's not forget that. Absolutely. So it's, I think that, I think that's also part of the reason why I'm so excited is that way it's, there's too much like white space back there. So I can just put more yarn. Who needs walls when you have yarn to cover them? Exactly. I mean, if I'm not, if I'm not going to knit with them, then I, I should at least make it decorative and pretty. Every morning when you wake up, you should just see a wall full of yarn. Yes, absolutely. It is definitely interesting, considering it's like right over my bed. It's just like I bump into yarn, you know, if I'm lying on my bed. So it's, it's great. There are worse ways to live. Yeah, that that is very true. So, but that is what that is what is going on in my world. I'm trying to get this blanket so I, done so I can actually use up more yarn. But it, it's quite interesting. I'm already on my third blanket of the year, which is blowing my mind. So. That is mind blowing. I am yet to be on my first blanket of the year, but it'll happen. Well, you'll, you see, you have the added step of like, oh, you have to spin your yarn first. So. Yeah, true. But I think I want to do some as I go. So I'm just looking to, I mean, other than this giggle jelly one, because that I was drawn to for so many reasons, just start spinning all of my lightest fibers. So then I can like spin and start knitting and then adding on to it. That works. That's also a good motivation is just progress is nice yeah so it's like once i'm done spinning then i can knit it up as opposed to spin everything then knit everything yeah but also i feel like that will help keep you motivated because like oh i have some done i can't just have this project lying here i need to go spin more yeah yeah having an unfinished project would be a huge motivator for me to do literally anything to complete it there we i think we're on to something i think we are too yeah so i'm happy that you know we found the proper motivation for you to go onwards and upwards with this use of yarn now is this blanket oh, sorry go ahead i just said it'll happen now is this blanket for you for you or uh it's more for for the fiance so i'm hoping that i make it tall enough for a man who's six feet tall my blankets tend to come out a little bit shorter I, I can feel your pain with my the other blank that I just finished. It was for two people that were six foot, so I cannot, I can sympathize. Yeah, these tall ones just takes a lot more effort. Yeah. Uh, uh, tall people. Their struggles. They are they are literally more expensive yarn wise. Yes, but yet we love them anyway. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think we shall I and on that note I think we shall end it for this week we love our t tall people bye bye guys <laughs>